Hello. In this summer vision tutorial, I'm going to import a model from Blender into my Unity project, and then I just want to use it to move around, like this car here. This car is something I exported from Blender and imported into my Unity project. And when I press up, it goes up, down, forward, and back. So everything is moving the way I expect it to. And when I look at the model, brown car, the scaling is 111, and the rotation is 000 for when I just drop it in. Good. Now I have a model here in Blender. This is just the Suzanne monkey. It's like a default model that you could just add from the meshes here, monkey, you know? But it's good because I can tell which way is up, down, left, and right here in Blender. Now if I export it as a FBX so I could use it in my game, here I pick the path, desktop, I'm going to call it monkey, and um, I have these settings here to export the mesh. Okay, this is kind of almost like the default. Then I'm going to say export FBX, and that file will be created on my desktop right here. So I could drag and drop the FBX here, but there's going to be a problem, which we'll see when I attach the same script. So here the monkey is dragged into the scene, and everything looks right. Here Z is forward, and the monkey's front of the face is facing forward like you'd expect. And there's the top, so everything looks like it's aligned right. But when I look over here, I notice that the monkey is rotated on the X minus 90 degrees and the scale is 100, 100, 100. That's not what I was expecting, but let's see if I can still use this. So I'm going to take the same script that I added to this car's body here and I'm going to put it in on the monkey. All right, so they both have the same script and I press play. Because of the rotation, when I press up, the monkey's going the wrong way. I'd have to like change everything in my game to adjust for this, or do I? I don't think I do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to export the monkey with a little different setting. So let me delete that monkey and delete the asset. Okay, and let me go back to Blender. And now when I say export FBX, I'm going to check this experimental apply transform button and then say export. Okay, and once again, here's the file. I'm going to drag that new one in here with the experimental transform on from Blender. Drag and drop that into the scene. Everything still looks the same. There is something different here, though. You see the rotation. There's no minus 90 degrees, and my scale is 111. That's a good sign. That's more like a normal object in Unity. Now I'm going to put the test script on here. Boom. And now let's press play and see if this exported FBX acts yes. Yes, 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 yes. It's acting the way I, I expect it to. So the trick is if you want to export a model, a mesh from Blender, when you do the export, make sure that you check this experimental transform. This will at least work for, you know, some solid meshes that you may have. Thank you.